Drake May finally be starting for the New England Patriots in week six against the Houston Texans? This is a question that has been on every single Patriots fan's mind since April when he was drafted, and we knew he was drafted to be the franchise quarterback. But then you saw how horrible the offensive line is, and you're like, there is no way in hell Drake May can go back there. He'll get killed. But can you win with Jacoby Brissett? We're one and four, so I'm going to go with no. Well, Gerard Mayo has finally hinted at why he may start Drake May, and we're going to break that down here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Allie Barefoot, and I know a lot of you guys are going to hit that like button. I mean, hundreds of you guys. So I'm going to go on ahead and set the over under at 500 likes, because I know out of 16,000 subscribers on this channel, almost every single one of you have commented at least once saying, start Drake May. So if you want to start, hit that like button for me and prove that it's going to be on the over of 500. So why now? Why is Gerard Mayo now hinting at possibly starting Drake May? Mike Reese said opinion slash analysis, so keep that opinion in there. Notable shift in Jerron Mayo's answers regarding QB situation in his day after game video conference compared to past weeks. Mayo said last week, the way the team won, its only game was unsustainable. And he seems to strongly be considering switching to Drake May. So Mike Reese, obviously the Patriots insider had this to say, but then NFL insider Adam Schefter actually quoted this tweet and pretty much responded to it by saying a QB change could soon be coming to New England with rookie first-round pick Drake May potentially starting Sunday versus the Texans. But all this comes back to what Gerard Mayo had to say in the press conference. And this is it. Look, we're still going through the, you know, the film from yesterday. We'll see how it goes. And when I heard this, I'm like, so everybody's freaking out because now Drake May is going to be the starter based on that little sentence. But yes, that's exactly why you should be thinking Drake May is going to start. Just like Mike Reese said, the Patriots have had Jacoby Verset as their unsolidified quarterback one for five weeks. Every single game, win or lose, the Patriots head coach has said Jacoby Brissett is our quarterback. We'll, we'll discuss everything later. We'll go through film. The coach will get together, blah, blah, blah. But he has always followed up with Brissett is still our guy. He didn't say that this week. And I'm going to break down what exactly he said about Jacoby Brissett in just a moment. But you guys are going to get hit with a YouTube ad break here. Just stick through it. I promise it's going to be worth it because we may finally be seeing the rookie Drake Bay in action on Sunday. There is no secret that week five was absolutely brutal for Jacoby Brissett. Not necessarily the team, but Jacoby himself. And this was one of the first games where I was like, damn. Kobe is really kind of sucking, and you really can't blame that many factors because the Dolphins were ass. They just happened to be less shitty than the Patriots were. But it wasn't the offensive line. It was Jacoby Brissett in his field vision, his decision-making. Yes, he did phenomenal getting out of the pocket on, on some pressures and, and some sacks, and I will agree with that. But 18 for 34 completions, 160 yards. Keep in mind... His season high is 168 yards. We have yet to pass over that 200 mark. 52.9% completion rate. He barely completed more than 50% of his passes. Thankfully, he was only sacked twice, and I will credit Jacoby Brissett. That could have been a lot more if he didn't get out of the pocket. But it was not his prettiest game. And Gerard Mayo on Brissett's Week 5 performance kind of hinted at that, saying, look, it wasn't good enough. I thought we played well defensively and on special teams to win the football game. Special teams absolutely crushed it. But it all comes back to the quarterback, right? You're always going to point your fingers at the quarterback, win or lose. As the QB, and he understands this, he touches the ball on every single play, and we didn't win the game or score enough points to win that game. I think he would echo that to some sentiment, that it wasn't good enough. And I absolutely think it wasn't good enough. There were several plays where pressure was coming, and instead of actually trying to do something with it, Jacoby Brissett would just throw it out of bounds. Or Jacoby Brissett would have two players wide open, and he would go for the double-teamed guy. And the number one play that I think really solidified Jacoby Brissett's mindset in Week 5 was the final play of the game. It was a Hail Mary situation, score or lose. Clock is at four seconds. 
He takes a snap. He drops back. Does he throw to Pop Douglas, who is running towards the sideline? No. Does he throw to Jalen Polk, who was in between the end zone and the sideline? No. He throws it into the flats, 30-plus yards upfield to Hunter Henry, who catches it and gets tackled, and that's the ball game. He was not in the end zone, and he was not out of bounds. That is something a quarterback needs to know. So I have a question here for you guys, and I don't know how this is going to go, honestly, because I have seen a lot of Jacoby Brissett haters in the comment section, and I do like Jacoby Brissett. I think he's a fine quarterback. That's it, just a fine. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot better. Great Brissett's performance through five weeks. If this is the end of JB, let me know how you guys feel. Give him an A, B, C, D, or F on how you feel about what he's done in the last five weeks for the Patriots. And I'm going to break down here why you guys are really thinking about that. I'm going to break down if this is the week Drake May should start. Because I know that it should come eventually. I've always been on that train. But is this the right week? We're going to break that down in just a moment. But I do want to tell you guys about our sponsor here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports, the one that make our lights stay on. That's game time. Game Time is the number one app that I use to get tickets to any sporting event, any concert, comedy show, or maybe even the theater. You know, I love a good musical. So if you guys really want to go to any Patriots game this upcoming season or hell, the Boston Celtics right around the corner, Boston Bruins season as well, the Red Sox also. So if you guys really want to go to these games, well, Download Game Time. There are several reasons why I think they are the best ticketing app, and that's number one. They have the lowest price guaranteed. Your girl always loves saving money. Number two, it's all in pricing. There are no surprise fees at checkout. It is what you're going to pay straight up, and that's it. And it's Game Time ticket coverage. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry and Game Time picks. This makes getting tickets to your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands and thousands of tickets. If you guys want to get started today, go on ahead and download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, download the app, and redeem code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Well... It's game time. Is it game time for Drake May? Because I actually want to point out in week five that while Jacoby Brissett kind of had one of the worst games I've seen for him through five weeks, the offensive line actually wasn't that bad. They weren't fantastic. You know, it's still one of the weak spots of the Patriots, but they could have been a lot worse. And I did kind of break down here what the offensive line did because you have to remember, Mike Jordan is now back at left guard. For Darian Lowe is back now at left tackle. You don't have David Andrews for the rest of the season, but you do have Nick Leverett. You've got Mike Unwinu, who actually went back to his normal position at right guard. And then you had Demontre Jacobs at your right tackle position. So overall, you got a couple of quarterback hits coming from the center, but they were blitzing right up the A-gap constantly so that definitely needs to adjust but it was a heavy workload he also did let up a sack a couple of holes that wasn't his best game but he also said I played awful and I need to get better Jacobs a QB hit on one or two quarterback hits so so nonetheless Drake May is going to get hit if he plays on Sunday that that's that's a guarantee with this offensive line he was only Jacoby Brissett was only sacked twice in the last game and that honestly looked like the best offensive line that they're going to get without David Andrews. But in my opinion, I do agree that, yes, you need to keep Drake May protected because he is your franchise quarterback, not just physically, but also mentally. You don't want to kill this man's confidence because he gets hit over and over and over again, and, and he thinks it's his fault. Well, you got to get hit sometime. I mean, football is a contact sport, right? How long are you going to keep the baby rails on before you finally say, you know what, kid, if you want to get hit, you better learn how to scramble. And he's been working. I know we haven't talked about what Drake May's been doing at practice, but he's been prepping. He has been prepping for this moment the entire season. Albert Breer talked about Drake May's performance and said he's, his progress has been steady in all the areas we've talked about. Footwork, understanding what he's looking at with defenses, and really what he's made strides in over the last couple of weeks is blitz situations. This is going to be huge because that's a big part of what the Patriots are getting thrown at them right now with their offensive line issues. And I, I couldn't agree more. Remember what I said about Nick Leverett? The Dolphins just blitz up the A gap. 
constantly. The point where Ramondre Stevenson and Antonio Gibson started to take their runs more so to the outside and found success, which I do love, but nonetheless. So Drake May has been preparing for what pressure is going to come at him whenever he decides, and whenever Gerard Mayo decides, that he needs to be the starting quarterback in the backfield. But I think it has now finally shown you, after a 1-4 and four record to start this season, Jacoby Brissett cannot win you ballgames. He can't, and that's very unfortunate. But there's a long season ahead of us, and now I'm wondering, is week six against the Houston Texans, the 4-1 and one Houston Texans, is this the right game to start Drake May at? Because you have to do it at some point, right? You definitely want to get that rookie in the game this season. Well, looking at the next four opponents, right? Let's just take it game by game here. The Texans are overall ranked fifth in defense in the NFL. The Jaguars also struggling just as much as the Patriots are. I believe they got their first win yesterday. I don't believe. I'm not sure if they pulled it out over the Colts. But their defense is ranked 30th. But then you go back to a top five defense in the New York Jets, which absolutely obliterated Jacoby Bursett in primetime. And then you go to the Titans, who are barely allowing any scores in the end zone this year. So it's never going to be a perfect moment. Yes, you may think that the Texans aren't the best opponent to go up against because their defense has been spectacular, whereas the Jaguars has been kind of crappy. But overall, I do think the offensive line, what they showed me in Week 5, this is probably going to be the best five you're going to get without David Andrews. And if it's anything like Week 3 and Week 4 have shown us, offensive linemen can, can, can go down like that. How long do you want to wait? for Drake May to start and keep risking these offensive line injuries and keep postponing it because you don't want to put him behind a second string or a third string guy. This offensive line looked okay, and it might be ready to put Drake May back there and said, look, kid, you don't want to get hit? You better be mobile because they're going to be blitzing and they're going to be coming at you. So what do you guys think? Should it be this week? Should it be Sunday? Is week six finally the time Drake May starts for the Patriots? Go on ahead and like this video if you guys agree. Remember, I asked you way back at the beginning of the video if you want to. Now I'm asking you if he should. Like the video if you guys think he should. And as always, if he gets announced as quarterback one, I will report about it right here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. All you guys have to do is hit that sub button for me.